And here we're, we're continuing with the nomenclature fundamentals. So here we're trying to name different combinations of elements that form molecules. Here we're going to deal with molecular compounds. So these are actually molecules, these are not ions. And typically molecular compounds are built off the nonmetals. So they form from the nonmetal region of the periodic table to the right of that dashed li uh, red line there. And uh, let's see here. Here, on, in this particular case, we have some combinations where they sound just like their ions. This is named hydrogen chloride. So we can go ahead and write that down. Hydrogen <coughs> chloride. So we use the "-ied ending chloride, just like we do for ions. And here we have hydrogen bromide. And in this case, we have silicon carbonate, carbide. Silicon. So that sounds very familiar, just like the ions. But now in the case here, we have multiple combinations possible. For example, carbon can uh, join with uh, or bond with oxygen in different ways. So we want to differentiate uh, carbon with a single oxygen from carbon with a double oxygen. And for that, we use what we call these prefixes here. So we have prefixes for the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to number 10. And the prefixes are mono for 1, di for 2, tri for 3, tetra for 4, penta for 5, hexa for 6, hepta for 7, octo for 8, nana for 9, and deca for 10. So now when we come over here, we have carbon with a single oxygen. So we're going to call that carbon monoxide. And of course, we understand this or know this as the poisonous gas. You breathe too much carbon monoxide, it prevents the blood in your body from, um, join, from um, joining up with the oxygen to carry it around your body and you actually will kind of suffocate from within in a way. So very dangerous, odorless and colorless gas. Now carbon dioxide, well we have two oxygens, so instead of mono we're going to use di, so this is called carbon dioxide. Of course most of us are familiar with that as one of the greenhouse gases. Here we have silicon with two oxygens and silicon with three oxygens. So this is called silicon dioxide. And of course then with three oxygens we call it silicon trioxide. All right, then moving on, here we have um, phosphorus with three chlorines and phosphorus with five chlorines. So we call this phosphorus. And here we have three chlorines, so we call that trichloride. And here we have phosphorus with five chlorines. I don't know if you can see that here. And so we're going to call that pentachloride. And now we have nitrogen with two oxygens and two nitrogens with four oxygens. Now you say, well, isn't that the same thing, but double, one is double the other? Well, in a way, yes, but it's a different kind of molecule. So this is called nitrogen dioxide. And here we have two nitrogens, so we're going to call that dinitrogen because now we have two, dinitrogen, and since we have four oxygens, we're going to call that tetraoxide. And now here we have chlorine and oxygen bonded together. We have two chlorines and seven oxygens, so we're going to call that dichloro, dichloro, Pen, uh, no, seven is hepta, heptaoxide. I just noticed here that dichloro is actually a different we use that for a different item. This, we should actually call this dichlorine. So the atom is chlorine, and there's two of them, so we should call that dichlorine heptaoxide. And that's the proper name for that. So now you can see how we want to name these kind of compounds. They're what we call molecular compounds. In some cases, they sound just like the ions. We use the "-ied um, ending. Instead of calling a chlorine, we call it chloride, bromine, bromide, and so forth. But if there's combinations where there's multiple options, where we have carbon with a single oxygen, carbon with double oxygen, we, we want to use the prefixes. And even if the element in the front uh, has more than one option, more than one element, or I should say atom, then of course we also use the prefixes for the first name as well. So dinitrogen, dichloro, hepta, heptoxide, and so forth. All right, that's how we name molecular compounds.